Hello everybody, my name is Wes and in this video you will learn how to answer IV bolus questions. You will learn a method to get every single dosage calculation right for nursing school and NCLEX. So let's jump into it. A prescription for an IV drug is written by the doctor as administer 2 mg IV now. You receive a vial containing 0.8 mg of medication per milliliter. How many milliliter are you going to prepare to administer? Start by using the formula desired over half times quantity. Desired is the dose that the provider ordered for the patient. Half is what you have on hand. And quantity can be capsules, tablets, or milliliters. There is a memory trick to remember this formula. Just imagine a duck on a horse quacking. Now let's answer it. First, set up our formula with the unit answer, and for this problem is milliliter because it is asking how many milliliter are you going to prepare to administer. Now that the formula is organized, we need to plug in the numbers. I like to start plugging in the half and quantity because they are usually given to you and they come together. So for this problem it is 0.8 milligrams per milliliter. For desired, you need to plug in the doctor's order, 2 milligrams. Make sure that both units on top and bottle are the same because they need to cancel out. In this case, milligram. Otherwise, you need to do some conversions. Now that the formula is completed, we need to calculate. 2 milligram divided by 0.8 milligram times 1 milliliter. Milligram cancels out and the answer is 2.5 milliliters. Paracentesis was used to remove 5,700 milliliters of fluid from a patient who had ascites. For every 1,000 milliliters of fluid removed, the doctor recommends 9 grams of albumin administered intravenously. How many milliliters would the nurse administer if the albumin is supplied as 20 gram in 100 milliliter bottles? Record your answer using one decimal place. The first step is to set up the formula desired over half times quantity. Use the memory trick to remember it. Duck on a horse quacking. Now add the unit answer milliliter because the question is asking how many milliliter will the nurse administer? Now that the formula is organized, we're going to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity because they are usually given to you and they come together. So for this problem, it is 20 gram in 100 milliliter. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, which is for every 1000 milliliters of fluid removed, the doctor recommends 9 gram of albumin, but you notice that we need to do some calculations first to get the doctor's order. We know that 5,700 milliliters of fluid was removed, and for every 1,000 milliliters of fluid removed, the doctor recommends 9 grams of albumin. First, calculate the ratio of fluid removed. 5,700 milliliter divided by 1,000 milliliter. The answer is 5.7. Now calculate the prescribed dose in grams. 5.7 times 9 gram, the answer is 51.3 gram. So 51.3 gram is the doctor's order. Now we can calculate. 51.3 gram divided by 20 gram times 100 milliliter. Grams cancel out and the answer is 256.5 milliliters. For a patient with hypokalemia, an IV potassium chloride infusion rate of 20 milliequivalent per hour is recommended. The pharmacy sends 40 milliequivalent of potassium chloride in 500 milliliters of D5W. How many milliliters per hour does the nurse set the infusion pump at to administer the prescribed dose? Record your answer using a whole number. The first step is to set up our formula, desired over half times quantity. Use the memory trick to remember it. Duck 
on a horse quacking. Now add the unit answer milliliters per hour because the question is asking how many milliliters per hour. With the formula organized, we're going to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity. 40 mL equivalent of potassium chloride in 500 milliliters of D5W. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 20 mL equivalent per hour. Now we can calculate it. 20 mL equivalent per hour divided by 40 mL equivalent times 500 milliliters. Mill equivalent cancels out and the answer is 250 milliliters per hour. For a client who is in shock, a 16 microgram per minute IV infusion of norepinephrine is prescribed. The concentration of norepinephrine is 8 milligrams in 500 milliliters of D5W. For how many milliliters per hour should the nurse set the IV pump? Record your answer using a whole number. The first step is to set up our formula, desired over half times quantity. Use the memory trick to remember it. Duck on a horse quacking. Now add the unit answer, milliliters per hour, because the question is asking how many milliliters per hour. Now that the formula is organized, we're going to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity. So for this problem, it is 8 milligrams in 500 milliliters of D5W. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 16 microgram per minute. But you'll notice that the unit on top and bottle are different. One is in microgram and the other is in milligram. So first, you need to convert microgram to milligram. In addition to that, the answer needs to be in hour, so we also need to convert minutes to hour. So let's start converting it. First, convert those in micrograms to milligrams. 16 microgram divided by 1000, it is equal to 0 0.016 milligram. Notice that you are converting from a smaller unit, microgram, to a larger unit, milligram. So your answer will have a small number. Now calculate the prescribed dose in milligrams per hour. 0 0.016 milligrams times 60 minutes, because you have 60 minutes in one hour. And the answer is 0 0.96 milligrams per hour. Now that the conversions are done, we can plug in 0.96 milligrams per hour in our formula and calculate. 0.96 milligrams per hour divided by 8 milligrams times 500 milliliters. Milligram cancels out and the answer is 60 milliliters per hour.